Okay, this is the final uh, lesson, final video on this topic of Flash. What we're going to do today is do a little recap and then show you some of the more advanced things that you can get into if you really want to be good at, at Flash. Let me start off by uh, showing you kind of a cool site. And this is sort of like a follow-up from the last video we watched on how you make multiple scenes. And the whole point of multiple scenes is eventually to make something that looks really cool like that. This is a nice Flash website. And if I play it for you for a sec, you'll see how it works. Basically, you have this website, and you can see a little animated movie there, which is kind of cool. And over here is like a menu. These are things that you can click on, and then they go to a different scene. So if you press that, it goes to that scene. It's basically the same page, except it's been changed a little bit, and it's got all these little menus. Very cool. Okay, so this is where you could take the stuff I taught you before with that uh, sort of go to and play, and then you name the other particular scene. And if you want to see what I'm talking about, look at They've got all the scenes written right there. So kind of a neat little example of how you could take this and make it look really nice. Okay, now we're going to get into more advanced movie clips and how you can control specific ones. And we'll start off and we'll uh, draw a little circle. Now we're going to do that thing where you make a movie like twice. And uh, just to make this look kind of weird, I'm going to add another little circle on here. Okay, so first of all, you're going to grab the whole thing and we're going to convert it to a symbol and we'll just call it red and it's a not a button it's a movie clip then we do it again and we go to modify convert to symbol this time I'll call this one rotating red okay now it's not really rotating yet now you gotta go into the underground and you go to around 20 and you press F6 and then you go in between and you press classic tween and you rotate okay All right now when you're in the underground you can see that it rotates and now you go back up to the top. And when you press control enter, there's your funny rotating eye. Okay, so that's the first one. Now the whole point of this is gonna be, I'm gonna have two of these, and I wanna control one, like make me one go and one stop, or vice versa. So that's layer one, I'll call it uh, a red one. And now what I'm gonna do is make another layer, and this one's gonna be called uh, red two. And I'm not gonna do this again. Remember, you can go to the library, Press F11, and I'll drag another rotating eye. Okay, and when you play it, you got two rotating eyes. Kind of freaky, eh? So you got two rotating eyes. Now what I want to do is add another layer, and this is going to be my control layer, my button layer. Okay, so on here I'm going to just drag a really simple button. I'll make a rectangle, and um, I want it to stop. So I guess maybe I should make it like red. I'll put it right here. That looks like the mouth of a person, actually. All right, and we're going to grab it all. And we're going to go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, but it's going to be a button this time, right? And this will be like our Stop button. Okay, and uh, we can actually try to program it. Uh, I guess you can go to Actions, and we'll go on Release, and then just type in Stop and see if that actually works. Okay, and we'll press Control Enter to play it, and we'll press the red button, and it's not stopping. Okay, this is a different problem now. What we've got here now is separate movie clips that need to have their own special names so that I can control them specifically. And what this special name is called is called an instance name. So watch. I'm going to go to red 1, which is this left eye, right? And then over here in properties, you've got all these things over here. There's something called name. All right, and that's kind of a label name, and then you've got another one over here, and you go back to this one. So see up here where it says instance? That's the word we're going to work with, okay? So we're going to rub out that word, and we're going to type in, I'll call it left eye. This one right here, we'll go back up here, and I'm going to call it right for the right eye. Okay, so make sure when you do this, you click on that eye, that's left, that eye is right. Now, let's go back to the button. This time, instead of just saying stop, which obviously didn't work, we're going to actually name the eye that we want to stop, and then put a dot stop. So this is the kind of the new stuff. This is called the instance name. Let's see what that does. Hey, now the left eye stops. Okay, so now you can control specific pieces of the animation that is on the screen. 
That's the whole idea. Now, what else can you do with this knowledge? Well, how about, see this red one right here? And we'll stick with that one because, you know, we've got that one working. Let's go to around 25. And I'm going to press F6. Okay? And I'm going to make this eye go up a little bit. Okay? And then I'm going to go in between. And I'm going to do a classic tween. Now, on this poor other eye, remember, you press that F5 stuff. Press F5 and it all comes back. So let's see what we got so far. Whoa! It's taken off on us. So now I'm going to press stop. But well, sort of stopped. It stopped him from spinning, but it's still moving. So how do you fix that? Well, now there's always going to be two steps. To completely stop it, if it's moving and rotating, you're going to say stop the left eye from turning, and then you're also going to say regular stop. So it takes two of these. Let's see how that works. See? It stopped it, and it stopped it from rotating. So this is this new cool thing called an instance name that controls specific features of the animation. Now, if you get really good at this, you can do some really cool stuff. I want to show you an example that I pre-made. It's a rocket ship, and like we did before, it's a movie, and then if you click on it, there's another movie underneath. Now, notice if you look at this down here, all of these are separate little looks of this rocket ship. And these little flags here, these are another thing that you name. These are called labels. All right, so there's the up, there's the left, there's the right. This is the best one. This is explode. This one is more than one little dot. Watch what happens. It blows right up. Isn't that cool? Okay. Now, how do you tell the computer to do that? That's this last one right here. And the way that you tell the computer to play that last animation is you say on press, the, the ship is called ship, and then you know how we had uh, that other one with the left dot stop? You can have left dot play. This one says ship dot go to and play, which means go and play starting from explode. And that's where that little section was. So if you tried this, really cool. Basic ones, there's a little exhaust coming up from different sides, and then you got the explosion. Okay. Now, if you don't get this one, don't worry about it. It is way more complicated, but this is some of the more advanced things that you can do if you get really good at this stuff. Okay. Now that we know how to name things, we can do even more stuff. So, for instance, this thing right here, which is called the clip, what I can do to it is make it move across the screen, make it change colors, make it flip around. There's all kinds of different properties that you can look at. Now, this first one here just going back and forth and as I press this button you're gonna see it fade away because another property that we can work with is called alpha I think we've changed alpha before but now we're doing it in a computer program let me show you first of all this is a movie inside a movie that has this ball going back and forth okay there's nothing special there but more than that the clip when I click on this button it does the following it's kinda of weird remember it's called the clip and there's the dot like we always use and now there's this underline and then there's a special word. This means reduce the brightness until it gets to absolutely nothing. And all we're doing here is we keep taking two away. So it basically starts at 100, which would be like solid. And eventually by taking two away, we're getting it to be smaller and smaller and smaller. Now there's a whole bunch of these things called properties that you can change on different shapes and things. And I've got this funny one we're going to do right now picture of a frog which I have called the frog all right and we're going to click on this button and we're gonna fool around with a couple of different things so first of all like we always do with buttons you gotta go on release okay and then uh, the frog dot underline and there's a bunch of different properties watch this one I'm gonna do first there's a property called X which basically makes the frog go side to side. And what I'm going to say is, wherever the frog is now, make it equal to where the frog is right now, plus about five more. So I wonder if you can guess what it's going to do. Watch. It's going to move to the right. Okay, and it's kind of like the beginning of what you would do with maybe a game if you really were starting to get good at this. I'm going to do a minus five. You can probably guess it's going to go backwards. Okay, isn't that cool? Now, you change the X to a Y, and it probably makes it go up or down, right? So I'm going to make it go plus 5. 
and see what it does. It's going to go down. Okay, it's kind of that's the way it does it. All right. What are other things that you can do? Uh, you can change the width, like how fat the frog is. So you can make the frog become fatter and fatter and fatter. Watch this. It's just going to go wider, 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 and wider. All right. That's kind of neat. Other things that you can do, you can change the height. You can make it rotate. That's a cool one. Let me try that one for a second. So I'm going to have this word rotation. All right, let's see what that does. And it starts spinning around. Okay, so these are called properties of an object, okay, that has an instance name. To finish up this kind of final little lesson on Flash, I'm going to do my all-time favorite example. Okay, hopefully I won't go too fast because this is really cool and it's kind of neat and it ties in together a bunch of different ideas. So we're going to start off and make a new uh, thing. And like we've done this kind of thing before, we're going to make a tire and I'll put a little lines in it so you can actually tell that it's spinning. Okay, and we're going to make a movie clip twice. Okay, so this one I'll just call and it's got to be a movie clip. <coughs> tire, excuse me. We'll make it again. Okay, and this one we'll call rotating tire. All right, then we'll go into the underground. We'll go to about 20, press F6. Go in the middle, don't move the tire. We're just going to make it rotate. Okay, then we'll go back upstairs and there's our first rotating tire. All right, next. We don't want to do that again. We'll press F11 and we'll drag another rotating tire on the screen. And now we've got two. You've seen me do this before. But now here's the new stuff. We're going to click on that back tire and we're going to call it back. We're going to click on that front tire and we're going to call it front. Okay, I hope you see where I'm going with this. Now I'm going to draw a little shape around it to pretend like it's a tire or a car. I'm going to grab the whole thing and I'm going to convert it to a symbol. We'll call it uh, car. All right, but this is the most important part. I'm actually going to name this car the car. All right, hopefully you're following me. Now I'm going to go to about 30. I'm going to press F6. I'm going to move the car across the screen. You've seen me do this way a whole bunch of times, right? And then we're going to press tween and it's just going to move across the screen. Here is the new feature. Okay, I've made two buttons and we're going to try to program it to stop the car. So I'm going to, like I always do, go to actions, on, release, and I'm going to basically press or type in stop. Like that should stop the car. It sort of does. Watch. There, it stops, but the wheels are turning. Okay, so let's see if you remember anything that I taught you today. So, the wheels are called back and front, so I want to stop them, but hold it, they're connected to the car. So now I've got to say this, the car, that's the instance name, dot, back, dot, stop. And that'll stop the back tire. Let's see if that actually works. Yeah, the back tire stops. Now how do you keep the car going after? Well, you we go actions, on, release, okay. And to start the car again, I guess you could just say play. Let's see if that works. So we stop it, and then we press play, and it keeps going. But the back tire is not going again. All right, so you would have to probably say something like this. The car dot back dot play. Okay, and this is where you can get what's called embedded. One thing inside another, inside another, you can get pretty crazy. So stop play and both tires are back to spinning. That's cool. Now for your final flash assignment. What I want you to do, and it doesn't have to be exactly like this, I want you to come up with something crazy like this where uh, you start something moving and it's got bits and pieces and then you stop. Look at the eyes, they're going big and small. I'm going to stop them. And look at that nose twirling around. I'm going to stop the nose. And look at that mouth. I'm going to stop the mouth. Okay, so you're going to do something crazy that's made up of little bits and pieces, it could be a car, an animal, anything. And then you're going to have control buttons that are going to stop and start and do a bunch of things to it. Okay, so that's going to be your final project. Good luck.